Let's create and edit this video with Canva. In this tutorial, I'm going to run through the eight main tools that you can use in Canva to edit your videos like a pro. Let's go to Canva and select video. You can also use the custom size, but the problem is that you won't get the track at the bottom to edit. So you should select one of the options that Canva has. With Canva, you can create videos for your phone, videos for Facebook, Instagram Reels, TikTok videos, YouTube videos, and more. I'm just going to select normal video. When you select the type of video you want to edit, Canva is going to open the editor in blank. Today we're going to import our footage so we can drag it or go to uploads. You can manually resize it to fit or you can right click and set the video as background. Let's run through the features. In the timeline you can run through the entire footage so you can see what you will be cutting, trimming, changing or adding. When you select a clip, you're going to see all the settings on the top bar. You'll have background color, edit, where you can use filters or go to adjust to change image configurations manually, cut, but we're going to do it later in this video, playback settings, video speed, looping, and auto play in the presentation mode. You also have crop, flip, animations, position, which is useful if you have multiple footage, transparency, audio, and volume. On the left bar, you'll have the usual Canva options where you can add elements, text, more uploads from your computer, draw, apps to integrate, and photos. On the top, you'll see the entire duration of the video, and you can also see that on the bottom and what second you're at. Now let's start editing. First, let's cut it. You can take out any parts of the video, for example, if you made a mistake or the video is too long. To do this, I'm going to zoom in the timeline to be more precise. So on the bottom right, let's change the view from zoom page to zoom thumbnail. This way will be easier to find any exact part that you like to cut or edit. To cut the video, you can just trim it, uh, dragging the right or left extremes. That way you can cut it and make it shorter by taking out the first or the last part. If you want to make a specific cut, let's say here, to take out something in the middle of the video, right click and select split page. Once it's split, it'll be treated as different scenes or pages. And you can edit each one separately or completely delete it to make the cut. To delete it, we have to click on the three dots and then click on delete page or simply select the page and hit delete on your keyboard. Now we'll see our video without that part. Let's add a new page to add new footage. This way we can combine different videos. I'm going to add a new video and it will look like this when we press play. Now let's add some b-rolls. A b-roll is the footage that you add on top of your main video or a-roll. To add it, you just have to select the image you want to add the b-roll to, then go to uploads and click the footage you want to add on top. If you go to the top bar and click position, you'll see the layers. If you have multiple layers, you can change the ones you want on top or the bottom. Now let's go back and right click the footage we just added and then click on show timing. And the track on top in purple is the b-roll. This way we can edit this track individually. For example, trim it and move it so it can appear and disappear in an exact moment in the video. If you want to resize it, let's say you want the b-roll to be in the entire screen, you just have to click it and drag the edges to make it bigger and zoom it. You can also crop the image or move it around. You can also add videos from the Canva library. If you don't see the videos on the left bar, you can go to apps and in more from Canva, you can see videos or you can search videos in the search bar. Click it and that will add the videos app to your sidebar. Now let's add effects, animations and transitions. Let's add a new video and then hover over between the scenes or pages and you'll see an option to add a transition. And then on the left bar, you'll see all the options for the transitions. You'll have dissolve, slide, circle wipe, color wipe, and more. I'll select match and move, and you'll see on the track that the transition was added. Another thing that you can do is click on the clip, go to animate on the top bar, and we can use page animations. I'm going to add photo zoom. Now let's play your video and we'll see the effects. To add text on your video, you can just go to text on the left bar and you can select one of the pre-designed text or you can add your own. I'm going to add my own text. We have all the text settings too, such as font, size, color and more. And you can make it bigger and smaller and move it around. But I don't want the text to be in the entire video. I just want it to appear in a specific moment and then disappear. To edit the timing, we just have to click on the text and now you see the text layer and we can trim it and move it. To enhance your video, you can use any of the Canva usual options such as elements. There we can add graphics, shapes, stickers, frames. For example, I'm going to add this frame and inside this frame we can add another video. So we'll have two videos playing at the same time. 
You can search for any elements that you'd like to add and simply repeat the process of right clicking and then show timing or just click on the element and you can edit the layer. Finally, let's add some audio. Let's go to apps and click on audio. Here you'll see a list of audios that you can choose. Some of them are only available for the Canva Pro but you can also import your own audio or use other apps like Epidemic Sound. Then, if the sound of the video and the audio are overlapping, you can just click the scene, then let's go to audio, and then we can just mute it. That way, the original sound of the video will be muted and you will only hear the audio we just added. Once you're finished editing and you're happy with your design, you can go to share on the top right corner and then click on download. It'll show you the format and you can select the pages you want. Then click done and then click download again and you'll have the video on your computer. And that's how you can edit videos with Canva. It's a good choice whether you have the free or the pro plan. If you want to see how Canva compares with another video editing tool, you can check out our Adobe Express video editing for beginners right here. And I hope to see you in another video. Bye.